Hey everyone, welcome back to more Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. I'm Disturbing Puppet. We are continuing to do a series of fights here where I am giving the AI a point advantage. So we're going to be taking 1,500 points of Necrons today up against 2,000 points of Tyranids. See how we do. So this is the 1,500 point army that I've got selected here. It has, as you can see, our basic overlord running a Staff of Light. We have a Hexmark Destroyer who should do pretty good work for us. Uh, we've got four warriors, one immortal couple Deathmark Snipers, one unit of Triarch Praetorians, a couple units of the Heavy Destroyers, both of them do have the upgraded guns on them. Uh, we've got some Scarabs just to kind of fill out points, and we have a unit of Tomb Blades with the upgraded gun. So uh, yeah, that's kind of what we're going to do. We're going to play up against the 2,000 points of Tyranids we've been playing before, which is a fairly range-focused group. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we're going to fight to the death as per usual. this way there we go so this army uh, it's a pretty standard army except it does have a bit more focus on range so all of the Eternid warriors do have the upgraded rifles and all the termagants down here at the bottom do have upgraded guns as well so they are not like super weak or anything that's the army we want yes all right uh, as far as a map goes don't want anything too tiny a uh, bit a while I think well, this one's the side. Was this the one with all the stairs? I'm trying to remember. Some of these, like, they're decent maps, but the lighting is really off and kind of goofy. Like, Blackstone, it's like super, super green lighting on them. Scrapyard's kind of nice, but we did that recently. Some of these are just too big, of course. More set for, like, the bigger fights. I actually would be kind of interested to do, like, a 2,000 point on, like, a really small map like this. Actually, you know what? I've never done that before. Let's do that, just to kind of have fun. Let's have a very tiny map for... Well, it's not tiny, but it's it's a good-sized map for 1,000-point battles. Uh, it's kind of the one I usually use for those low fights, just because the map isn't huge. I don't think I've ever done a 2,000-point fight on it. Um, it's going to be interesting, I think. There is a lot of cover on this one, so that should give the Tyranids an advantage, theoretically. Uh, we'll kind of see how it goes. All right, so we have a couple routes we can go. There's the middle part of the city, there's the left route here, and then there's a little bit out right. I think we go hard left and maybe send a few guys in the city. We'll kind of see how it goes. We want long range guys. We'll have a good, nice, long area we can shoot down here. So maybe we'll put the snipers and our big guns over there. Uh, we could jump around with you. You guys are not super slow, but not fast either. So if we get you... We could put the Hexmark Destroyer into the city. I think that works. Definitely want to keep them safe, though. Uh, we can scout with you guys. We can scout with you, of course. Yeah, let's have the Tomb Blades there. You can kind of fly over whatever in that general direction. Let's get... The Immortals wide, because they're a bit slow. Let's put the death marks in position, like one wide, one there. Put you in the back, get some warriors out front. We can kind of go wherever with the Praetorians and then sort of jump, so maybe for now we'll put you there. So what does that leave me? A couple warrior squads. We can give some assistance here, potentially, so let's do that. I want to send more into the city? Maybe. Yeah, we'll try something kind of like that. We'll see how it goes. What? Okay. He, uh, kind of grumpy today, apparently. Yeah, so you can kind of see the lighting on this map is fairly decent, so we do actually look pretty good. We're getting our nice little bonus because our overlord's nearby, which makes us glow green for some reason. But yeah, I mean, like, the Hexmark Destroyer especially is a really nice looking model. When you're zoomed out, though, some of the models for the Necrons do look really similar. So, like, the Death Marks and the regular Necron Warriors, once you're zoomed out, look kind of, like, all the way out, eh, kind of similar. All right, let's get moving here. This isn't a huge map. As you can kind of see, we're already looking at, like, a quarter of it. So, out and here... I, I mean, it's oh, possible God. we're going to run into fights a bit earlier than I would expect. I don't think we're going to spot anything here in this first round, so if I overwatch now, I don't think it's really going to do you any good? 
let's just go ahead and push it, move up, and get some vision. You... I can't actually see where you can go. I can see the red, I can't see the other color. Like, there should be, like, a dot there as well. Uh, yeah, just charge on him here, I suppose. Gives us some decent vision into the city there. You can, get further. you can definitely get further, so let's run you on it. Have some very slow warrior backup. Out this way. Progress. actually not super slow. Tracking target. Artillery. I want to push these guys ahead. We we could get some warriors out front. Yeah, let's do that. Our duty is tireless. I could go ahead and jump, but we're not going to do that. Setting position. We can overwatch there, but I'll probably... Well, we can auto-overwatch, but I don't think it's going to matter much. Uh, range optimal is 6. Just about there. We'll go ahead and no, set. set. A little further. I don't expect to see anything at this point, but you never know. Alright, we've got more warriors, some death marks. Our targets wait. Let's just kind of get up and in position. Our judgment will be swift. The rest of these guys we can just kind of auto overwatch. Doesn't really matter. Nobody's got long range, I don't think. You don't. You don't. Yeah, that's it. That's fine. Do not approach me. So we might have some fighting here fairly quickly. There are some barricades to kind of get into the city. Oh, okay. it's yeah, was. One thing that's kind of odd about this game, the maps can't switch the sides. Hiding will not help them. So you always fight from this side, fighting against that side. Like, I can't swap and, like, deploy the other side if I want to. That's something I would think they would add at some point, just never has been put in. Maybe it's a balance thing, don't know. Yeah, some of them are up pretty far, it looks like. They do have a... Is it Turvagon, the burrowing guy? Or is that the Trigon? The Trigon's the burrowing guy. Turvagon's the one that spawns uh, termagants. They've got one of each of those. Alright, we will start scouting. We didn't really see a whole lot of sound indications here. I'm just going to kind of push up a little bit. I don't think anything's far up here. We have some vision there of where they busted that open. Let's head up. Nothing in the gap, though. Oh, we've got gargoyles on the flank. Okay. Uh, I mean, we can take a shot at them. It's not going to be very accurate, though. Well, I mean, it's okay there. And we've got vision on what? Termagants? Termagants, yeah. Nothing too important, really. Uh, let me get some more info here. But you just... Hold on up. Okay, gargoyles there. These guys are totally expendable. They're really just kind of here to spot for me. Yeah, nothing really approaching... Yet. They do have the gap open, so the gene stealers might rush the gap there. This gap is kind of just stuck, but you can't shoot past this. So it seems like we're fairly safe if I want to just pop some shots here on these guys and then hold position. We've got a little bit of cover. I don't think the gene stealers can make it to me, but they might be able to. Attack vector troop. Do you have the upgraded guns on these guys, so they are pretty effective. Yeah, I wonder if those gene stealers can make it to me. Don't necessarily want to draw them here. I kind of want to draw them into this area where we can potentially get shots from here and here on them. Uh, let's just grab I this see with favorable you. Position. And bring in the warriors and see what we can do. Not a lot, apparently. Alright, we can't get very far. That 
that's going to be too far for shots. Optimal's only three here, which is about there. We'll push some overwatches that way, I suppose. Alright, not too concerned about this direction, really. I think we just overwatch here. The optimal on this gun's two? Yeah. But we've got two actions, so I wouldn't mind shooting multiple times if they come pushing in. We'll get a shot at longer range than a shot as they come in. Something like that. They may not even come that way. We might even destroy them, but we have down here. All right. Heavy fire support. Let's start moving up. Yeah, the Gargoyles should be the fastest thing, so they're scouting out front. The Trigon often is sort of out front. Oh, you're out of range, really. Okay. Optimal is four. Which is about there. There. Let's push it Overwatch. like that, kind of. Snipers, we should be able to get a shot off with you guys, right? Can't actually see where the targeting reticule is. Like, is that too far? So if I go here. That's still out. They're in full cover. Yeah, I may not have a shot here because of the hill. So go down to model height and take a look. Yeah, we're probably not going to have a shot there. Yeah, it's a little hard to tell, like, how, like, from just the top, how big is the hill, but it's actually pretty decent size. So we'll overwatch down over that way. Optimal is six. So, like, one, two, three, four. That's apparently all I can see. <laughs> all right. Area. I think it'll be fine. Let's have you head up. Don't really have a target for the big guns here. <laughs> Take some shots, because why not? Uh, what do we have there? Just gene stealers? Yeah, that's all I can see. Oh, we've got vision on the Trigon, is over here. Okay. I kind of figured he'd be on this side. There's still a Hive Tyrant, the Termagant, uh, Swarm, the Turvagon that makes Termagants. All that kind of good stuff. I have a lot of my firepower here. I was hoping they would kind of come with a lot of their heavier stuff here. So this might be uh, a bit of an odd placement for us. We can get a shot. That's the best position, it looks like. The sound of our guns will herald their death. I could just overwatch with these guys as well. If we can get other people through to take some shots. We have a crummy shot there. Who is okay. Do I want to take it? It's not awful. 60% isn't too bad. We could go ahead and mark. Yeah, why not? Mark set. They will not escape. So we can get some extra damage off. Because we don't have a lot of threats over here. Okay, we picked off a few. I was hoping for more, honestly. We've got lots of other things I can shoot. Artillery. It's just whether I want to save that stuff for overwatches or if I want to shoot. We are putting our guys out front, which means taking shots from behind isn't very accurate. So that is a consideration as well. Get in there. I don't think you can see anything though. Yeah, full cover. Do we even have view? Uh, I mean, kinda. Sort of in the way there. We can hit them with the big guns or set the overwatches off. But if I don't kill them, they're just gonna set up my overwatches anyway when they move. We serve the trio. I 
could go ahead and jump in here. Just pound the crap out of you, or we could shoot. Optimals too. Yeah, you know what? Let's jump in here and just light them up, and then we can grab some cover. I think. Nope. We're stuck. Face judgment. All right. So much for you guys. Uh, we are a bit exposed here out in the open, but these guys are fairly tough. Um, but they're probably going to draw a lot of fire and loving attention of the Tyranids. All right, we'll go ahead and get Overwatch's set. So six is optimal. That's fine. We'll just do that. We still have you. We can't pump out another unit yet. Next turn we can do that. Don't really have anywhere great An to go. Kind of go in the middle. March. All right, that's everybody. It looks like. Yeah, doing okay. I'm curious whether they're gonna actually meet me, come into the city, or go on the right flank here. Oftentimes, the AI will just sort of swarm towards the nearest units. Oh, Hive Tyrant does not like my Team Blades, apparently. Really does not like them. Okay. Um, I didn't expect him to one-shot them, but, uh, I mean, they are not super tough, but... Thought with our evasion stuff, we'd be okay there. I could have done my evasion, but I didn't think it would be... We could have gotten extra evasion, I just didn't think it would be that big of an issue. So we've got a Hive Tyrant on our flank. You're going to get extra actions here, take shots at me, unfortunately. They were weak. Yes. They killed us. Yeah, they were scarabs. So they're sort of blocking the advance there. The rest of the guys will push the other side. You're going to hang out in the back and just spawn more termagants. Wonderful. Or just get confused. Sure. Instantly disintegrate a couple of them there. Now comes the Termigan Swarm. Hiding will not help them. I don't think they're hiding. Targets detected. I'm surprised they had a shot there. That's uh, pretty crazy. Like, fired it off between the, the two buildings here and actually managed to land a shot. It's pretty crazy. All right. Well, I can summon more guys now. I may do that. Let's start. It's not a great shot. That's a better shot. Let's do this. We may end up having to push all the way up and just fight. Um, we'll kind of see what we can do with our shots. So we're better off hitting you guys, so let's do that. So much gene stealer blood. Kind of like to save these guys for actual more important targets. Even the Tyranid Warriors, kind of a bit more of an important target. So if we move... Actually gives me some view way down over there. Tracking target. So we have fifty-six percent, but we could mark. You know what? I like that. Do that. 
So from our hilltop position, we somehow have an 80% chance at these guys right here. So light them up. Okay, just softened them. Nothing too major. It's hoping for a little bit more. Let me hold off before I spawn another unit. Okay, we kind of want to deal with the gene stealer threat here. So we can try to get shots in further. Okay, that's a couple of them. Grab cover. Got one snipers, warriors. Yeah, let me just get you out of the way. We'll bring up the other warriors. Nine. That is not great. There's some height difference there, just causing some issues. Just a lot of shots, too. Get out of the way. I could potentially try to mop up with my Overlord, but... Okay, shot anywhere. 44, 45. Those are not good. For sure. I have a really bad chance. It kind of looks like no matter what over here. I mean, I could just stay put, take the shots. With enough shots, we're definitely going to kill you. Let's try to wipe these guys out. Yeah, I think we had more than half missed there. A lot of them hit the ground. What you going to do? If I spawn a unit, I can't use it right away. Well, I mean, they can move, but they can't really do anything else. Awaken! The Age of Necrons is nigh! Nice to get some more shots off, but not gonna work. Let's start advancing down the flank. The sound of our guns will herald their death! Too close for these guys, but the height difference causes some issues there. Um, we could try... Can I actually get a shot at those Tyranid Warriors anywhere? Too close, I think. Really low shot chances, but I kind of want to take these guys out so we can sort of advance up. You're going to kind of deal with these guys, then we'll have the Warriors mop up. So, I mean, we could go in with the Praetorians. Yeah, let's do that. Take Firing. Our duty is tireless. Praetorians, what's our shot chance? 75%. That should do it. Praetorians, let's advance. See if they want to push the corner here. They do have a lot of termagants coming. Alright. Finally. Setting position. Just want to take a look and see. 49. Or we could set up an overwatch. I don't know that I'm going to have a better shot than 49% there on those guys. So I'm kind of tempted just to take it. Yeah, let's see if we can at least nuke one of them. Okay, that's one disintegrated. Gonna roll on by. Artillery! Does anybody have any movement left? Yeah, let's get you there. there. Yeah, so just kind of set up so we can fire this way if we need to, but I want to have some guys push past. We'll just kind of see how it works out. My uh, awakens. Could teleport on by if I want to go into the front line here somewhere. Like, there's a pretty good spot. 
Don't have the action points here. We could try to do that later. I think I'm just going to hang out and cover. March. Just give some of these guys some extra protection against ranged attacks. Okay. <laughs> Let's get moving and see what we can see. Yeah, I'm a little concerned. Oh, the Trigon is over there as well. Great. Yeah, that's uh, pretty dangerous. some softening up damage here. Yeah, I have a feeling the Trigon and the Hive Tyrant are going to cause me a lot of trouble. They're not really in a position where I can hit them. I see all. Could grab cover. Movement's a bit limiting here. Don't really want you to get killed. I don't actually know how much cover this statue really provides. I get an action, we kill you, but then all these Tyranid Warriors are probably going to shoot the crap out of you. If I come out wide, I probably have a shot. Then I could duck back into cover. Alright, yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff over here. It's not a great shot. Their numbers are their weakness. Alright, yeah, back in the cover. I'll keep an eye that way. I have a feeling we're gonna get pressed pretty hard here. They will all die. I don't really have my big guns in position to deal with the big guys here. They're actually being fairly smart. Um, they took the opposite end from where we have most of the big guns. We can get lines of fire down straight here, but probably he's going to come here. So that's actually going to make things a bit more messy. Alright, that's everybody's actions. Concerned about the hive tyrant here. Okay, I feel like I should be getting better cover from that building, but I'm not. Trigon! Hit me around the corner of the building. Psychic Scream doing some damage. Okay, a few of us get back up. Not sure what that ability was. Might have been something for momentum. Yeah, I feel like some of those shots will be blocked by cover. Getting absolutely hammered there. Turned Warriors diverting, Turvagons diverting. Armor's blocking a lot of that. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That's not a great target for them to be hitting, because they aren't going to kill them. I should have probably tried to wipe out the Praetorians there. Would have been the smarter play. So that should be hard shot to arc around the multiple building corners there. Taking fire. They landed quite a few. Yeah, this is a very shooty Tyranid army that I made. Just to sort of make up for some of the weaknesses that AI has with the Tyranids. I also do like playing Tyranids as kind of a shooty faction, having the Tyranid Warriors. I really love the Tyranid Warriors, a really good unit. A lot of the other stuff in the army, not so good. It's a surprising amount of damage with the gargoyles there. Stupid. 
some exocrines. I shouldn't have any real great they shots on there. Eh? Even shooting at another. Okay, hit the wall. Hit the wall. Good, good, good. Got some, I think, baby termagants there. They don't have the upgraded rifles, I don't Wolf. think. Alright, uh, yeah, things are not great. Uh, it's a bit messy. They're close, and I don't have great shots. But we kind of need to kill the Trigon. And Tyranid Warriors. And Tyranid Warriors. Look, that shouldn't be too hard, right? Right? Alright, what's our shot chance here? 85%, that's pretty good. Let's just take it. More than half your health gone. Let's get you wide somewhere. Just to kind of get out of some of the lines of fire. Princessing. Warriors here. We have an okay shot. I mean, that's not... Great, 51%. We could just drop an Overwatch instead. I'm going to wait and see if we maybe can pick them off if we do some damage with some other units to them. The sound of our guns will herald death. We back off. I should have a better shot chance here. Setting position. 85. We'll take that. Come on, give me a kill. Nice. Instantly disintegrated like he wasn't even there. Okay, we're out of the way. These guys are fairly tough. We might be inviting exocrine shots here, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. So I think we go snipers and immortals on the warriors. You can maybe engage there, because they're kind of hurt. Praetorians, I'm not sure. Oh, we've got these other warriors, too. <laughs> Necessarily mean to click that, but all right. I kind of wanted to leave a space there and shoot, but uh, yeah, this game would be nice to have an undo button, but eh, it is what it is. It's like your soldiers don't always do exactly what you want them to do, that kind of thing. Already at optimal range here, right? Yeah, it's three, sixty-eight percent. Do some damage, please. We got one. The other one is nearly dead. Definitely pick you off with these guys, I th think. Like, if you can get up. Like, these two guys alone, maybe we can pick you off. There we go. Uh, there is a whole other squad of Tyranid Warriors in there, though. Uh, Hexmark Destroyer is in trouble. We could throw a lot of fire at the Hive Tyrant. I just don't know how much damage we can actually realistically do. I might send the Immortals in over here. Okay, Snipers, are we already at optimal range? We are, I think. 68%. Yeah, if I move up, we're shooting further back. So that's about as good as it's going to get. If I go higher, is it better? I mean, you'd think theoretically it would counteract, but there is a negative for being too close or too far on your shot chance. Let's move up and see. I can still always move back. Now it's 65. So yeah, it's a 3% difference. Not much. Fine. We'll take the 68%. See if we get lucky. Okay, we hit the guys that were at higher health. We'll drill them down a little bit. guys. It's not a great shot. 68% here if we move. The other guy was 68%, so it's the same either way. 35. Let's go ahead and tag these guys. 
Okay, we got one. The other two are pretty trashed. We can finish them off with the Praetorians. I think we're going to have you come in. Progressing. I need some additional assistance over here. Don't have any great shots, but we should have... Come on, show me a percentage. There we go, 63%. Let's do some damage. Maybe I can take out one. one. Okay, we got one, so that's, you know, one less gun shoot back at me. We still can do some stuff with you. Actually, I could probably take out that Tyranid warrior squad with you. Then I've got the uh, Praetorians free. My will be done. Oh, I missed a shot. <laughs> Hoping I could do that in just one action, but eh, it's fine. Okay. Praetorians... A little banged up. We can jump again. We could go hunting for an Exocrine. I'm pretty sure there's one here. I'm just not sure where exactly. I still have a shot with you. Or we can just Overwatch. Eh, we've got a 60%. We'll take it. Drop a couple of them. So these guys, yeah, these guys have the upgraded guns. You can kind of see here the upgraded rifles. That's an awful lot of Tyranity things out over that way. Yeah, it's just what do I want to throw the Praetorians at? I could jump in behind the warriors and smack them around, but then they're going to invite probably both Exocrine shots on them. Is that a worthwhile trade? I don't know. If we go Exocrine hunting... Like, I'm pretty sure one of them is out here somewhere. That's something we could do. I don't know if it's worth doing. I mean, probably. I don't want to be in a position... Oh, oh, I think we figured out. It must be there. <laughs> Let's go. Judgment will Let's be crazy. Alright, so there's one. Look around. There's the other one. Alright, so if I go smack in this guy, is he going to hit me back in close range? Probably. I think we're in the front three. I don't really want him to do that, so we could shoot him instead. Not going to do very much damage, though. How much damage are we going to do here? Not even a lot. 70-something? 70-80-some damage? If I was behind him, I would feel a lot more comfortable. These are, like, baby termagants. They've got the basic guns, which are not very good. Alright, let's light them up. So we somehow shoot the wall a bunch. But then I'm going to turn to make sure we're facing you, so if you try to move, we can smack you or something. Try to get out of there. Okay. Things are still kind of bad. We can hit them, but that's not going to do much. You want to be at range of two. How much damage can I really do here? Three to five times 18, so maximum we're talking 90 damage. That's not great. It's not nothing, but it's not great. Let's go target optimization. We're 
We're going to shoot multiple targets. We're going to shoot you. We're going to shoot you. We'll shoot you. We're just going to reduce the number of guns in the area. Okay, I was hoping I'd wipe out the gargoyles with that. That was probably a bit optimistic. We did do a lot of damage to the termagants as well, so that's pretty good. We can mop up somebody and then go. Well, except I can't move. Um, we can duck back into cover. Kill something to get some momentum. I think the hive tyrant just going to kill me. Like I feel like that's just what's going to happen. Let's wait by my squad house. to get some momentum. Which means I'll heal a little bit more. Um, I was hoping I could duck back, but when I do that shot thing, it gets rid of all my movement. So we should already have an okay shot here. <laughs> You off. Be cool if this counted as cover, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I'm expecting the Hive Tyrant's going to come down here, so I'm going to sort of get ready for that to at least have something I can shoot with from different angles. Um, probably my poor little Hexmark Destroyer here is going to get absolutely ruined by the Hive Tyrant. Which is unfortunate, but we did a, a pretty massive amount of damage here. So essentially, with just a little bit of help, we wiped Gargoyle, Termagant, and took out about half of another, well, more than half of another Termagant squad. That's a lot less guns shooting at me this turn. I don't know that being in the cover here would make any real difference for them shooting at me. Um, Hive Tyrant's a bit of an issue, though. Got some Gene Stealers out there on the edge. All right, we've done some damage but it's not going super well. I think they've got the cover, so they, you know, moving up, doing a lot. Not so sure about my Patriarch or uh, the uh, positioning I've got up there with the Triarch Praetorians. Yes, kill some regular warriors. Yeah, just getting hammered there. Yes, waste your attack. Excellent. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I want to see. That's why we're cheesing the AI here, is because the AI makes dumb decisions like that. Rather than killing something else. He does have another action, so who knows. Maybe shoot my hex mark? Yeah, probably. Nope. The hex mark just went down, it looks like. That's too bad. I was hoping I could survive that. That's not nice. Okay, warriors are reinforcing there. I'm gonna try to take out my big guns. Somewhat understandable. Taking fire. Guys are doing quite a bit of damage, actually. But they do have the, the upgraded rifles on them. We're gonna hit the Praetorians. Exocrine is probably gonna back off, I would assume. The heck are you even shooting at? Oh, there. Okay, and a complete miss. Yeah, he keeps trying to thread the needle there with those shots. Nope, he's just not perturbed at all. I'm just gonna take a shot at something else. And miss. Good deal, good deal. Yeah, losing the Hexmark Destroyer is unfortunate. Um, not a whole lot I could really do, though. I think trading the Hexmark Destroyer for, you know, taking out a few other units is kind of worth it. We do have a command point. At this point, it's not too great. Uh, we want to get at least two so we can do the uh, lightning storm. That's pretty good. The first one just drops some scarabs, which is like, eh, not that great. 
Hive Tyrant's going to be trouble. Continuing to cause me some problems. And what are we going to do here? Reserve the Triarch. I'm not in a great spot. If I move, he is going to close combat attack me. And these things can do a pretty good job in close combat doing damage. So I might just shoot. That's kind of pathetic damage. That's better. Once I can jump, we could kind of get behind. But yeah, I'll just sort of be a big distraction back here. All right, even that was not super awesome. Hold on, guys, we're coming. So here, yeah, Tyranid warriors are the priority. If we can get the big guns hitting the Turvagon, or maybe taking a shot here. I'm not sure how much this is going to interfere with my shots, though. Immortals await in command. That looks like a pretty good shot. What's the actual percentage? 65. Yeah, let's go for it. Gotta do something. That was kind of pathetic. You guys... Let's just start trying to damage. Maybe have some distractions here. These guys all have the upgraded guns. We hit you, we're gonna do 60 to 80. Here I can maybe kill some guys, reduce some shots going oh, back at me. Okay, we nuked quite a few of them. Good deal. I can mop up with you a little bit. for the bigger squad and take them out. Yeah. Yeah, the Turbigans are not very tough, but just having that many rifles can do a lot of damage. It's a lot of, they can dish out at you. Okay, snipers. wait. You've got a mark. Move up. Seventy percent. We're gonna go ahead and mark the hive tyrant. Although we're not gonna do a ton of damage, but we gotta start getting some damage off here. Okay, eighty-sevens. Not nothing. And I can actually move you. Let's move you back. Swap out for the same spot. Who is next on the list? Seventy percent. Pretty comparable damage. Seventy-five. Taking about half the health off the hive tyrant. If I could get shots with these guys, I mean, I can come down here. We could get a shot, or we could try to take out the Turvagon. Here, priority is the Eternity Warriors, for sure. So let's start worrying about that first. Pretty healthy, let's do some damage. Okay. Push you in for more. Great shot chance. We're just gonna shoot through some of these guys. Okay, we got him. What kind of shot would we have here? 63%. Are we at optimal? Well, we can get a better shot if we back off. Is that what I want to do? My Bimboy awakens. Can't summon anybody yet, but we could do some damage. Actually, just kind of, I could wade in here and just start smacking these termagants up a bunch. Smack them bitches up. It's a 
song reference for those of you too young to know. <laughs> uh, yeah, Termagant or Trevagon. We could definitely kill you with a couple of our units here if we land all our shots. We can kill you in one turn. Or do we split shots or try to potentially kill off the Hive Tyrant? Hive Tyrant's got more actions. I think that's the priority. I should have an okay shot from here. I'm a little concerned it's not going to be okay. Yeah, that's not okay. The circle was pretty decently sized, so it should mean like it's a decent shot, but that was pretty pathetic. Um, we're still going to take it because we've already moved. I did land some hits there. You are almost dead, Mr. Hive Tyrant. Well, in that case, I think we definitely just go ahead and try to go for killing you off. Processing. So we need to come on down. Ooh, I don't know if I can get an angle. You're a little too far away. What? Hmm. I could teleport and shoot you with my... Overlord. I don't know if that would do enough damage to kill you. What's the range on this thing? Optimal's three, so if we teleported there, that's one, two, three, but there's a bunch of crap in the way. Can I do 25 damage? What's my armor penetration on this? Six? I mean, that's pretty good. I Let's give it a try. Got all smoky there for a second. 75%. That should do it if we can land our I hits. Have slain gods. You are nothing. Barely though. 26 damage. He's a very cocky overlord here. Let's grab some cover. Mr. Cocky. My will be done. Okay, Hive Tyrant down. We've actually got that pretty well contained. Gene Stealers are just kind of hanging out over there. So you can sort of freely take a shot. Setting position. Should be okay, 80%. Firing the big guns. I swear I saw something down here when we fired. We'll stay there, that's okay. Yeah, really, at this point, we're probably mainly just mopping up, but the Praetorians here might get kind of wrecked still. We pretty much got it now. So you're going to keep spawning little irritating Termagants. Yeah, this is kind of an interesting map to do this kind of a fight on. It, it's actually not too small, but I feel like it's definitely giving an advantage to the Tyranids a bit. Just because they do want to get fairly close. But it's working out. <laughs> Pathetic. Still have the stupid Exocrines to deal with, though. They're going to keep me in trouble. I might just shoot my Praetorians here, probably. Exocrine shot incoming at them. Yep. Going to get back up. Nope. And going for a stomp. Not nice. We're going to counterattack. Yeah, they might get wiped here, even though these guys don't have good guns. Yeah, poor guy. Oh, he got Pekka. Power of the Necrons right there. We can keep Vision, um, just because he's so tough, so we can try to take our long-range shots. Alright. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, yeah, these Gene Steelers are just confused over here, I think. Might be able to get a shot down this way. OK, 
Okay, Mr. Overlord. I can summon a unit of guys, or I can come in and just beat the living hell out of some termagants. I kind of feel like that'll be more fun. Let's do that. These guys all have the upgraded rifles. These guys do... And these guys do, yeah. Alright, yeah, let's just beat the crap out of them. Kneel before me. Smack. I mean, this gun isn't really... Or this weapon isn't really... Designed for close combat. It's more of a ranged weapon. But, you know, it's kind of fun. Whiff. Like going for the the ball and T ball and he totally missed. Kinda painful to watch. Alright. Portals, you're gonna end up kinda blocking this up. So we know the other exocrine's way out over there. Progressing. Alright, we're gonna do some damage to you. I was hoping for a little more. The sound of our guns will herald their death. Right, if we move you, we can get shots off, so we'll do that. You're gonna come <laughs> this way just to mop them up. Got movement? Yeah, let's get... So we're not shooting around a corner here. That might entice the gene stealers to come around and attack me. So if I move you here... as far up as I can go. Is that going to give me any shots at anything? Anything decent? At big targets. Out of range? No. Behind full cover? That sucks. Tis unfortunate. Alright, what do we have for shot chances here? 51 is about my best. I think we have enough firepower to take them out, so I'm gonna hold off for now, just to kind of see what I want to do. Same here, I could overwatch this way if the gene stores want to move up. Everybody else we want to get around, potentially, so we can take some shots in. Let's start here, just kind of get out of the way a little bit. See if we can clear the way. Alright. Jump. Can I get a good angle? Like that's okay-ish. That's probably my best shot. That's probably like a 50%. Try to go... Yeah, take everything I've got to get Exocrine shot off, so I wouldn't be able to do that now. Setting position. We'll just go for you. Firing. Alright, we missed half of that. Let's have you go that way now. They're all dead. Get some cover. Alright, 
Advanced Snipers. The sound of our guns will herald their death. Yeah, let's just set up an Overwatch down here. Barrage zone set. Cover that. I could bring the snipers up and cover as well, at least one of them. Since I don't really have great angles here. Well, got a shot there. Tracking target. Alright, show me what you can do. Seventy-six is pretty good, actually. Yeah, take it. Don't think we're gonna kill you this time. Just not enough damage I can dish out. Even if I can get the other snipers on there, pretty similar damage. It's only gonna take about oh, half. Wait. If I move up, yeah, I can get a shot. It's just not gonna be good. I could mark though. We still have units, also. Guess we should go ahead and take a shot. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this guy. Just to get every little bit of damage I can off on you. Yeah, I mean, it's tempting to just drop an overwatch down here for those... But I don't know that they're gonna come in here. They might just keep hunkering down. I don't know if they're actually going to make the corner and rush me. So I'm probably better off shooting something I can actually see. Getting a shot off now. I was saying, we shouldn't have a shot there. I don't know why they're highlighted. We've actually got a shot at the Exocrine. Not a big deal. 63. We could make that pretty good. Yeah, you know what? Let's just mark. So that should get me to 75 to damage. Hits. 92, pretty reasonable. How much damage can you actually do? Not enough. It's close, though. I can jump out of here, though. So I think that's what I should do. Try to keep you alive. It's probably a good call. Although, yeah, I think I'd be jumping, I wouldn't get attacked, but it looks like I am going to get attacked on the way out, if I jump. If I just shoot. 12 to 18. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I think we just try to get out of there. I'm probably going to die either way. Can I get anywhere safe-ish? Yeah, I can. We'll try. Unnecessary sacrifice. Yeah. Chomped down on as he flew through the air gracefully. Or not so gracefully. Yeah, we're fine. They did their job. Oh, they are coming. Just absolutely wrecked that one. Yeah, not that much damage. We get a little bit of a counterattack off. Stop healing! there? thought it might go for the Immortals, but what for the Warriors. Yes. We sneer in your general direction. Wow, you're way back there. Nice. Alright, yeah, like I said, it really is just mopping up at this point. There's not much threat. Uh, you're facing the wrong way, so I can just back off. Shoot the crap out of you. 
don't know if that'll kill you. But we'll give it a try. Was worth a shot. Could we even bring you guys back? Go for the killing blow. Alright, good deal. Alright, that'll open the way for you to move up and maybe get a shot at something. Can take a shot there. If I go further up. Try for the Exocrine. What's the shot chance here? 56. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> nice. Instantly disintegrated. On in. Okay. I know the other one is like way back there. Start moving up. What? I don't have two command points. Unfortunate. I have options. I mean, we could beat on him. We could shoot him. We could beat on these guys. We could summon another unit. I think here. Let's take them out. Actually, yeah, these guys respawn, so they're not a huge threat. Either squad, really. Okay, that was pretty devastating. Good job. Go looking around. I know you're out there. I know you're over there, buddy. We're just going to kind of clear the way here for everyone who's long range to go after the further targets that are more dangerous. Okay, we can get a pretty good shot there, it looks like. 100%, can't argue with that. Tyranid blood all over the sand. Let's grab this. I don't know if it actually really gives me much cover, but theoretically it does. Artillery. Can't see you, but... Setting position. 60%. Setting position. 100%. Well, I mean, I can't argue with 100%. Survived. 18 health. What do I want to do here? I mean, it's something to, like, teleport, beat him to death, uh, or teleport out there, try to go after that guy, but close up, he can do quite a bit of damage if I give him the opportunity. We could also just mop up. Um, wonder. How much damage can I do if I shoot you? Okay, I was hoping that would kill you. Will this kill you? Maybe. There we go. Oh, we even got a surge. I could empower, but I don't have any action points left, so it doesn't really do me much good. 
Your stars will thunder before me! Well, he sounds a little cranky. An endless march. Does this cost an action point? This. Yes, it does. Hmm. Oh, I can't shoot you. Can't summon anybody either, so you know what? I am beyond your abilities. Oh, he's gone all, like, digital. And freaky looking. Alright. Well, I can't see that last guy. I don't think it really matters. Take it. Tracking target. Who is next on the list? Yeah, either this tile or that one is where we need to go. I mean, we could go for Cheeky Teleport. Repositioning. There you are. Alright, that's everybody's actions left. We just have the one Exocrine left to kill off. We did okay. I mean, I think there was... Um, the AI had a pretty good position an advanced plan for sending some of the tougher guys out here on the flank, which ended up, you know, having to lose the Hexmark Destroyer to kind of deal with some of that. Then we've taken some other casualties. A lot of the Necron Warriors are actually surviving. We did lose the Praetorians, but, you know, they're kind of there as the elite guard. They've given us vision for a while, which was really helpful. What you gonna do? Kill the inferiors. That's that's what it is. We're Necrons. That's what we do. We kill, and everyone else is inferior, so we kill everybody. The Your turn. Of our guns will herald their death. Very gentlemanly of them to take, you know, turns. That's it. And I get a command point at the very end. Ah, uh, right, we lost the Tomb Blades. So the, the Scarab Swarm, they're kind of scouts, doesn't really matter. Warriors, eh, it doesn't really matter too much. Tomb Blades, losing them, they're scouts, they get in bad positions a lot, they tend to get focused down, you know, it's understandable. I probably should have popped the Evasion on them because it is a small map right off the bat. I just didn't think we'd have, like, the Hive Tyrant would come jumping on him immediately. Hexmark Destroyer did a good job fighting off those guys on the flank, and the Triarch Praetorians, like, I mean, they didn't do a whole lot. They absorbed a whole lot of fire, they gave me vision, they scouted for me, so I mean, they, they did provide, you know, not direct benefit stuff. We did get a couple kills with them as well. But yeah, I think we did okay overall, so we could definitely push this another 100 points down, I think, and fight these guys, especially on a more open map. On a more open map, we would have done a lot better. I think if we went for a very open map, we probably would not have lost the Hexmark Destroyer, possibly not even the Praetorians. Uh, the other stuff, yeah, it's kind of understandable. It may be losing some other warriors instead. But we did a good job, I think, overall. All right, this has been more Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I will see you all again another time. Until then, have a good one.